Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between that you can imagine and that I can imagine, and yes. And this is part 47. Can't believe we're already there. It is part 47, two brush blending. Blending using two brushes and no drying retardant. Today I will be talking about two brush blending, which is kind of like wet blending in some people's eyes, but is not using dry and retarders and it involves two brushes one of each color so today we'll be doing a two brush blend on that miniature sword with altdorf guard blue and white scars now the key to when you're two brush blending is you don't want to over thin down your paints because over thinning down your paints would be a big mistake and you want to use two brushes of a pretty good consistency like two brushes that you would trust i'm going to use two brushes i actually swapped out the one on the top so I'm going to take my white scar, and it's a little thick to begin with, so that's why I'm going to thin it down a little bit. And I'm going to put it in my palette, and I'm going to thin it down slightly. The reason why I'm covering two brush blending now is because I feel that a lot of the techniques in future videos are going to be based on blending. So I might as well teach blending now, and then add it to them in future videos. So I'm going to add a little bit of thinner to it. It's basically a medium and just thin it down slightly. You don't want to thin it down too much, as I said, because thinning down too much will just run to runny uh, blends, and some people argue that actually increases the rate of paint drying. You don't want it, your paint to dry quickly. I'm going to repeat this process with Ultra of Dark Blue. Basically, this is a very quick technique, and it's going to be very repetitive, as you're going to see. You have to act quickly, because to brush blending, you have to go while the paint is wet, so you cannot let it dry when you are using it. That's the key to this technique, is that you're constantly mixing the paint with two brushes going upwards and downwards on a gradient and uh, not allowing them to dry. So then I'm going to load with just a little bit of paint and one, one brush will have white loaded on it and one brush will have blue paint on it. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to load, I'm going to keep the one in my mouth. You can put it down anywhere that you can trust and I'm going to start off with a dark color and paint the sword all dwarf guard blue. And then I decide what color I'm doing, the uh, what, what direction I'm doing the grainings in. I'm gonna do light at the, the bottom to dark at the top. So then I take my brush that has the white scar, and as you can see it is thinned down a bit. And I'm just gonna start painting towards the top. And you'll notice that I'm doing a, a brush strokes perpendicular to the gradient, and that way you get nice consistent brush strokes. And you can do this when you're doing it parallel to the gradient, but it's just easier if you do it perpendicular. And then I'm just going to start at the very bottom, paint white upwards, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back down with my blue, and I'm not, and you'll notice I'm not going to go as far down to the very bottom. And with each progressing stroke, you're going to notice that I start more towards the middle, and then I finish more towards the middle than I do the previous step. And then I'm going to take my white once again and build from the bottom right back upwards again. And as you can see, we're just mixing that paint in the center and doing this layer by layer, we're essentially gonna build a really nice gradient of fr um, from the dark blue to the white. And by repeating this once again, you can see that it's, it's much more whiter towards the bottom, and then I'm gonna work my way downwards again. And I'm just gonna repeat this process over and over again with the same strokes. And each time, I'm gonna be loading less and less paint onto my brush. And if you find that even if you're using too much paint on your brush, Feel free to wipe off your brush and do pretty much like a dry brush blend on it. And then working my way back down again with the blues. And each step going less and less down with the blues and less and less up with the whites. And as you see now, we're building a nice gradient of that intermediate colors towards the center of the sword. And that's what we're going for. And the more times you repeat this process, the better the transition will be. But you've got to work quickly, as I said, because two brush blending is, is reliant on the dryness of the paint. You don't want the paint to dry when you're putting it on the model because you have to blend this wet paint. But do not use a drying retardant because then it'll get really, really messy. And see, so working my way downwards with the blues, working my way up with the whites. And each step, as you said, it's getting drier and drier on my brush, and that's it. So as you can see now, after doing this many, many times, I repeat this process over a period of about 10 minutes, and you get a really, really nice transition from the white to the darker blue. And there's several zones, one with its almost a, an off-white, 
and then the very light blue, darker blue, and then the darkest blue at the top. And that's it. That's two brush blending to a thing. So just to summarize, number one, do not over thin your paints. It will lead to a mess. You just want to thin down slightly. Number two, I prefer using brush strokes perpendicular to the gradient. You can use parallel brush strokes, but it's much easier if you use perpendicular because it's so much easier to create your blend. Number three, move quickly. Remember, you are reliant on the paint being wet for blending, so you got to move relatively quickly. It is a very quick process uh, to brush blending. And number four, the more rep times you work your way upwards and downwards along the gradient, the smoother the transition will be overall and create an even nicer transition effect. And that essentially is two brush blending. As I said, I tend to just keep one brush in my mouth and paint with the other in my hand, or you can just put it down quickly. But you gotta always work very quickly. But it's a relatively simple process to learn, a hard process to master, and it takes time to learn. So thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for part 48, which is just around the corner next week as always. But if you can't wait for next week, check out The Warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel, where not only we get to see the next six months worth of miniature painting 101 episodes, you'll get to see dozens of start to finish painting tutorials, battle reports, and just some awesome wargaming content. So go ahead and check out The Warp. I think you'll really love it. So thank you very much once again for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.